everybody. What are we doing here? We are doing rolling and bracing. Now, why rolling and bracing? And why do we have uh, Casey and Cheryl here? Uh, because we want to go through probably the most important whitewater kayak skills that are out there. Rolling and bracing are your survival skills. It's the difference between having a fun experience on the water and being super nervous on the water. Once you've got a, a bomb-proof roll and you're comfortable with your roll, rolling is awesome. Tipping over is not a big deal. Between now and then, uh, the nervousness you feel is the insecurity you have with your roll or your brace. So our objective is to get you from wherever you are, either first time beginner or somebody who's been paddling for 20 years and is just isn't comfortable with your roll yet, all the way to the finish line where you're comfortable with your roll, you've got a great brace, and you can even teach other people how to do it. All right, let's get started. All right, to kick off rolling and bracing, the first thing we're gonna do, I got my 14 year old son Casey here, we got Cheryl. Casey's gonna demonstrate because He's got some skills. He's going to demonstrate a few things for us. So Casey, show us what bracing looks like. All the way, both sides. Head in the water, head in the water. Other side, head in the water. All the way in the back deck, nice. All right, uh, just do a roll, any old which roll. Is he worried about rolling up? He is not worried about rolling up. All right, can you do the same thing and come up on the back deck? Lean all the way back. We want him to show you what we're going to be teaching you. There you go, look at that, beautiful. Now do something cool, show a uh, tip over with your paddle deep in the water and skull to the surface. It's phase six, by the way, folks. Check it out, he's gonna skull, 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 skull. Whoa, what do you think of that? That's a phase six. Now tip over with one hand in your paddle, set up and roll, and Cheryl, you do the same. One hand, and then one hand in your paddle, when you're upside down, grab it and roll. Oh my gosh, one hand in the paddle, what's he gonna do? He's gonna set up. And boom, can Cheryl do it too? And roll. Oh, last but not least, let's do one more thing. Throw your paddle, do a hand roll real quick. Yeah, let's see, yeah, let's see it. He's upside down. Can he come up in the back deck and hand roll? Oh, he's upside down. He grabs my boat. This is why I don't do hand rolls. <laughs> all right, now watch this. Casey, this time do it right. Head on the back deck, go all the way around. Go, all, go for it, all the way around, hand roll up, let's sit. Go, let's sit. He's mad at me, that's okay. On the back deck, oops, he lifts his head, and he gets a rescue. All right, so even Casey gets a little roll practice here, no problem. I don't know if you guys saw, but you're gonna see what, what caused him not to roll up is what causes everybody not to roll up. All right. So what's about to happen is six phases of the roll. Phase one, two, three, four, five, and six. Phase one is the hip snap with no paddle. Phase two is hip snap with the paddle. Phase three is hip snap with the paddle with nobody holding on to the paddle. It is basically your, your first real roll. Phase four is setting up, cocking up, and doing a roll. We're gonna learn that. Phase five is tipping over with your paddle not set up, kind of like you saw these two do a second ago. Phase six, is learning the intuitive roll. That is where you roll from just about any position. You no longer have to set up to roll. Very cool. Bomb proofing your roll and whitewater stuff. We'll do that at another time. Let's get you in flat water to where you need to be, where the whitewater is going to work. All right, let's get started. All right, Cheryl, phase one. Cheryl's going to demonstrate phase one. Phase one, of course, is the hip snap. Now, what is the roll? The roll is where your boat's upside down and you get it to right side up. It's actually a very misunderstood skill. A hip snap uh, works really well as long as your body's in the water. Uh, do you know how much your body weighs in the water, Cheryl? Not much. How, not only not much, how much does it weigh? Zero, do, do you float. In fact, it's got buoyancy, it actually lifts. As long as your body's in the water, you can roll the boat up really easily. How much do you weigh, 117 pounds? Okay, well if you lift your body an inch out of the water, you're doing a 117 pound one arm chin up. That's very difficult. It's easy to roll the boat when your body's in the water. Lift it up even a little bit, it's very difficult. The difference between a successful roll and an unsuccessful roll is whether or not your body's in the water or not when you're doing your hip snap. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna practice the hip snap real quick. You're gonna grab the front of my boat 
uh, two hands. You're going to drop all the way in. Hip snap up. She's done this before. Okay, now, okay, another important factor. Work is force times distance. What does that mean? It means your head weighs about 14 pounds. If you bring it all the way up to two feet above the water, that's about 30 foot pounds of energy. If you roll up with your head all the way on the back deck, touching the deck and as low as possible, that's an inch out of the water. That's only one foot pound of energy. That's 30 times more energy coming up the way you did. This time, come up with your head touching the back deck. Flop in, hip snap up. Much better. Okay, now notice her nose is still pointing to the sky. She's still lifting her head this way. There's two sets of muscles. One's on the right side of your body and one's on the left side of your body. If you turn your head this way, you're tightening the ones on your left side of your body and that's pulling your boat the wrong way. All the muscles on your left side of the body, assuming you're rolling up on the right, are bad muscles. You tighten any of those, boom, it pulls, it stops the hip snap. You need to tighten the right muscles in your neck all the way down your sides and lift up in your right knee, period. Any other muscles, it's not a hip snap. If you lift your head, and everybody all knows about don't lift your head, but this is lifting your head, this is lifting your head. Any muscles on your left side of your body is an anti-hip snap. So let's do it again. Down and back, down and back. You're still looking at the sky. That nose pointed at the bottom. One more time, down and back. Okay, now your head's still a little high. KC, you're up. Now let's, let's watch. So Cheryl is, um, come here, turn around. You're doing your hip snap, turn around. All right, let's take a look. Casey, drop your paddle. Show me a hip snap where you come all the way in the back deck, down and back. Okay, good, one more time. Nose pointed at the bottom, down and back. Boom. Okay, beautiful, good, cool. The um, uh, subtle differences between Cheryl and Casey, uh, but until Cheryl eliminates the habit of nose up or not going all the way to the back deck, her roll is going to require more energy. Work is force times distance. There's nothing, you can't, you can't fake out physics. You simply, it's how high do you lift your head and body out of the water during the roll. Twice as high, twice the energy. As low to the water as you can possibly get. Come on over, guys. Uh, so Cheryl, you're going to do it one more time. So Cheryl's in the phase where she's, she's still in learning... She's still in learning mode where her goal is to get super comfortable with a roll. Now she's got a good flat water roll and she has rolled in white water. Very cool. But we're trying to get to where zero stress, right? Zero swims. <laughs> in between, where there's no more swims. Okay. If I flop in, show me a good hip snap up. Much better. There you go. Much better. Now see if you can do that head over the back deck in one, all in one motion this time. Flop in, hip snap up, head down and back. Much better. No, that's okay. You're good. All right, that's phase one. If you, can, if, if you can put all the energy in the hips, keep your head down and back, then you're getting right side up with a minimal amount of energy, which is what we want. Um, if you can do that, go grab your paddle real quick. If you can do that, then you're ready for phase two. Let's get into phase two. So do one more. Flop in, hip snap up. Boom, perfect.